Shalom, good morning. Sister Kate here. Look at, look at how the wind does this. See how many videos I have where the wind is doing this, or the roosters are fussing, or um, the sound doesn't work. You know, it, the struggle is real to do these YouTube videos on a regular basis. I'll just say that. Um, so I'm heading towards the foundation in which are goats that I'm going to tie out here into this nice grass. They've been in there since Shabbat. Um, just chilling. There's stuff in there to eat, but it's good to rotate your goats around. And I'm carrying one of the, the cables that I do it with. And I was reading the news today. Oh, shoot. I didn't bring my paper with all my facts. Okay, so you're just going to have to um, hang in there with me because... There were things I was going to say, and I think I can remember most of the members. Numbers. SpaceX. There was lots of news about SpaceX. A whole article with lots of letters and numbers. I didn't remember them. Um, and, <coughs> excuse me. They are doing a lot of things this year. Uh, some, some of you have the conspiracy theories and whatever that... The pandemic is a cover for other things going on, or the rioting is a cover for other things going on. SpaceX has been very busy this year. They have a rocket that they have moved to Cape Canaveral, and they're starting their like, you know, process of getting it ready to go up to the space station. They're going to send uh, three astronauts up there. This is not their first attempt. They've sent people up before successfully, um, and that you know. To me, that's fine. Go go up into space, do experiments, find out how, you know, space uh, affects plants and the human body and so on. It's good information to know. The other side of the coin, though, which I found very interesting, is they're sending up all kinds of satellites. And when I say all kinds, I mean like lots of satellites. They have a goal to get 1,584 satellites up there in in our space around the planet um, and they are all going to be linked to a internet service they're going to call it space link right just like earth link and and um oh who else gives internet service eh, you know what i'm talking about um 1584 satellites to support their internet provider right wow yay you know verizon's got a competition t-mobile's gonna have competition it's gonna be private it's gonna be a private service now in america private companies and everything that's what america runs on business right making money being successful etc what is spacelink's service going to provide what do people who are going to pay for this service, what do they want to see on their internet? And what services do they want? Do they want to be able to, you know, Skype and, and um, video uh, chat with everybody, you know, instantaneously? Do, do they want something that's going to hook up to their smart houses and, and help with the whole process of like the, the shopping where your refrigerator just buys something from Amazon and it's delivered right to your house and you don't have to have any human intervention there. I guess I could show the goats over there while I'm talking. Um, yeah, what is this private Spacelink internet service going to provide? I think that's something interesting to think about because if you're paying for it and SpaceX is providing it and it's based on the latest technology and SpaceX had to put up 1,500 satellites using their rockets and specialized fuel and everything, it's all gonna cost a lot of money. So rich people are going to have this private internet um, service. Maybe it's gonna be business-based. Maybe they're gonna you know, be able to watch stock market numbers from around the world and import export numbers and and you know track ships and all sorts of other things i really don't know but i think it's something worth looking into and to note it when it comes up because spacex also wants to colonize mars and it wants to make human beings an interplanetary 
species, meaning that humans don't just live on Earth anymore. They live on Mars and maybe the moon and, you know, Saturn and, and places like that. Um, Venus, maybe. Um, that's kind of interesting. That's kind of like science fiction becoming a reality. Um, and it's going to be highly technical because in, in, on planets where the air is not something humans can breathe, you have to create enclosed, encapsulated living situations. That um, movie Martian with Matt Damon in it is kind of an example of how it, you know, obviously it's a movie, so it's not the reality, but it's similar to the reality of life on Mars you know, growing things while you're living in some kind of biome bubble thing. And then, obviously, some of the stuff, if you went up there and lived there, you'd be researching things like what metals does Mars, the planet, have in its soil? Like, is it full of copper? Is it full of silver? Is it full of one of those techie metals that is necessary for building computers? And, and space rockets and so on. I mean, if SpaceX mines Mars, SpaceX may have found initially very expensive, but possibly an, an easier way for them to get these high-tech metals without having to go to Africa and compete with China and, you know, possibly get involved in local wars and things like that. I mean, there's a lot to think about with SpaceX and what SpaceX is doing and what scientific possibilities there are in the future. It's worth looking into. It's worth looking into as much as what our politicians are doing right now and, and um, what BLM is hoping to achieve and, you know, just the things that are in our, yeah, what the pandemic's doing. Hey, what better way to escape a pandemic than to go to another planet and then a great movie plot is you're trying to escape this pandemic, but somebody on board ship brings it with them. And how do you deal with it while you're out there in space? So anyway, those are my thoughts. That's, that's, that's where my mind was out. And then I come right back to reality to how do I get these little guys out, woo, out here without them getting me all tangled up and without me falling in there. And uh, yeah, so back to earth, back to reality. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bless you. Shalom.